G'day and welcome to Ducks All The Gaming and a new Let's Play series on Lost Valley Farm. This is a map by Chris Kimball Gaming and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so this is a bit different. This is going to be our fun episodes. So while we only have a small amount of money left at the moment, um, that's not going to limit us. Um, we are going to use money cheats if we so desire to use equipment or whatever else. Um, we are not playing Seasons because Seasons is a little bit more restrictive on us, um, but we are going to have some fun. So the map. This map was um, is a relatively relative newcomer. Um, I don't know how long ago it was actually released, but um, it's been out for a little while now. Farmer Klein has done a map review of this map, and uh, so I'm going to let my good friend's map review tell the story of, of what's in the map itself. So I will put a link to his review down below in the comments so I urge you to go and check it out. In the interim we have uh, let's see what we've got we've got field 1 15, 16 and 17 so 15, 16, 17 uh, is that all we have? looks like that's all we've got we have lots of grass lots and lots of grass so Lord of the Grass will be uh, at full, ham full hammer getting uh, as much grass done as we can. That includes using the abomination or our crone, you name it, we'll, we'll be out there getting grass in all manner that we can. We have sheep only. We we started off the map with 10 of everything, um, which is by default. We are on, are on the hard setting, by the way. Uh, however, what we did is we, we got rid of the, the cows and the, um, and the pigs, and we're gonna concentrate wholly and solely on this map on sheep. Well, at least for this stage. Um, reason being, well, it's easy because we can uh, grab all the grass. I'd spent a quick uh, 20 minutes uh, in setting this map up and collecting some grass, and I've collected, I think, 400,000 or 300,000 litres of grass. So um, the sheep are pretty much good to go. So let's go over and have a quick look there. So there you go. So we have 151 sheep. Oh, we still have pigs and cows. We'll sort them off in a minute. We don't want to have them. Um, and yeah, so. 28,000 litres of grass to support the um, the sheep at the moment. We've just got to get some water. So I've just got to grab the uh, the K100 and take the water over there. Get filled up with water and take it over to the uh, to the sheep and get them going. So that's what we'll do first. So apart from that, our normal farming, we'll just buggerise around basically and just put whatever we like in. Um, I don't know if sugarcane works in this one or not. Don't know, I don't even don't even know. So we might test that out as well. We might put sugarcane in one of the small the small fields and have a look for, for a bit of uh, the proverbial and the giggles. All right, what we'll do first, we'll head down here and we'll get rid of our cows. So we're going to sell them. And we're going to sell our pigs. And confirm that. So right now, all we're left with is... 151 sheep. Okay. Alrighty. So what we'll do is we'll uh, go and grab our K100. Well, let's uh, just slow that down a bit. I'm walking a bit fast for when I was doing my touring around. And we'll grab the K100 and head over. So this is our main farm. Um, obviously, we've got our storage bunkers there, our silos there. Uh, plenty of storage. There's a shed there, sheds there where we've got the combine in. Storage for our dry fertilizer, seed, and liquid fertilizer. Uh, we have a fuel tank somewhere. Can't remember where I saw that. Main farmyard up here, or the farm farmhouse. And you can see it's actually quite uh, quite hilly. There's some some up and downs, which makes it all the better. There was a bit of mud around as well, so especially coming over through here at speed, you uh, can lose it. So we've got to be a little bit more careful going around through there. Uh, there's our Seedmaster 2017, so we can uh, produce our own seeds. And here we have some of our, our haulage equipment and that over here. So we'll grab our bulk liquid transport trailer, and we'll go find a water point. All right, let's go. So similar to some of the other maps lately, the uh, the water points are available. Generally, there's little red hydrants. There's one just here at the entrance here. Um, which you can just uh, get water from, I believe. Let's uh, test that theory out. See if we get a trigger up. No. Maybe not. Let's 
maybe helps if I uh, no there you go oh, that's alright so we'll go and find where we can get some water from Yeah, a bit of a drive. Oh, you can see a bit of the map anyway. That's sort of like a map tour. Might head over towards the sheep and the cows. There's probably a water source over there somewhere. You see this is where I've collected some of my grass earlier. Most of the roads going through, or the, the paths effectively between the fields and that, are just dirt roads or mud roads, um, which is fine. That's not a problem. Only really the one main main road. There's a footpath through there basically over to the greenhouses. That's where the greenhouses are over there. So we'll get that sort of production stuff going too. We won't uh, we won't muck around too much with that. We'll get the compost going, all that sort of stuff. So over here we have off to our right we have the pigs. So as you can see over in the background there, the pigs are there. You also have um, we'll go in there and have a quick look. Why not? Why not do a bit of a tour as we're getting some water? Alright, so the pigs are here. We have uh, this one here is. This would be the manure uh, one where we put in the straw, the liquid manure, I would believe. Oh, actually, no, maybe not. No, that's just the pig output. What am I saying? What am I saying? I'm thinking production, it's not production. Duh. Alright, stupid, stupid, stupid. Alright, we'll just rewind that and just forget that ever happened. Must remember to edit that out, don't forget. Alright. Silage clamp there, over here we've got to our right, uh, sorry, to our left, we have uh, our cattle. We have another little farmhouse there, that's where our chickens are in there. Uh, here we go, we've got a water point here. So we're going to go in here and fill him up. So I haven't spent much time on this map as yet, I've um, just basically loaded it up. Um, I've done this one at the same time as doing um, Great Western Farm, which is also by Chris Kimball Gaming. Uh, so I've got two of these episodes running simultaneously. These are just a basic, uh, an offshoot. So it's basically as an aside, something to do that's a bit more fun and enjoyable and not restricted in its gameplay so much with seasons, all that sort of stuff. Mind you, both these, both the maps from Chris Kimball, Kimball are uh, seasons ready. Um, so there's no reason why we can't play seasons. Um, I just want to have a bit of fun and do a bit of Skylark and mucking about a bit and, and do it not so serious. Not realistic gameplay. So be a warned, this is not going to be realistic. So we're going to have a little bit of fun. Alright, so over here for the cows, we have the TMR mixer over there. We have a silage fermenter there. And we have a couple of sheds. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is there. Let's have a look. Uh, yep. That must be sort of temporary storage for uh, for some products. I'm not sure what it is. We'll have to have a look at that later. Um, and there's our milk output and all that for our cows. All right. He's always full. That'll do. Did you fill him up all the way? Yeah, good time. All right, so over through here, at the back of the cows, there's another dirt road leading down the back, heading down south. So we'll come down through here. Lots of trees. And here we have the sheep. So as you can see, the, uh, the wool will come out through here. Auto cell point there, which is the orange uh, section. We have our feed trough for our grass or hay, our water trough, and our load and unload point. So we'll fill them up with some water. Okay, that's it. So we're not going to leave the trailer here, we're going to take this back to the farm. So we'll head on back. Oh, to the farm. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go. Sorry. It's not really the best vehicle to go touring in, but uh, we'll go a bit of a tour around here. See where this path takes us. Down to the water. A little bit of a waterfall there. 
nice just brings up brings us up to our circular field field 26 ideally set up for those uh, wonderful crop irrigation systems but uh, they're not uh, well they are available but uh, I haven't looked at those yet there's a bit of mucking about to get them working apparently so uh, hopefully as I said in another episode Giants will um, add that one element that I think is is missing um, irrigation hopefully I'll add that to farming simulator 19 um, and that would be great or maybe some fantastic modders maybe even like the crew of realismus modding or something might come up with it with uh, a watering requirement irrigation requirement but anyway it's all good it's all good all right so let's go around here well as we almost now if it had been the early version of this truck um, I would not have stopped in time there. So thank goodness for Rockhound mods and uh, his updated brakes. All right, here we go. So off through here, we'll head up, up over in here and have a look at the uh, the greenhouses. <coughs> Take a shortcut. We'll use the footpath. I'm saying it's a footpath because it certainly uh, might be a bit of a road. Anyway, we'll use it for now. So we have our standard greenhouses, so water, manure and compost to get them up and running. So we'll get those done at some stage in the near future. We've got over in here. Uh, this must be a, I don't know what it is actually. Water, manure and compost. Don't know what it's going to produce. We'll look at that again later. Okay, now that must have been the entrance because there's no other road out of there. So back down through the road don't want to damage much of this grass you see grass is precious Get in for a second okay all right so let's go down the main road quickly. Say so main road, it's not really a main road, it's more like a, a country road. So more of our fields over here. There's a fair amount of uh, trees around as well, so there's ample supply for logging, um, certainly initially. I think over the back here there's a fair amount of, um, I think it was the other corner, the southern corner. Um, but anyway, the hill through there into the, the uh, wind turbine over in the background. There's one of our uh, storage and sale points there as we come to the end of the map. Alright. So let's head back to the farm and we'll um, see what we're going to do. We might set up the abomination, that might be the first thing we do. We'll see. So what we'll do is we'll get the uh, the fields underway. Let's get them underway. So we'll uh, work out the state of the fields and we'll get working on those. We'll plough them and sow them and all that sort of good stuff. Then once we're waiting for them to come in, want to grow and uh, be at harvest, we'll um, grab all the grass we can and start dealing with that. We'll do some baling. Um, not as much what we did for the for the baling challenge which is uh, still hasn't been finished off. The reason, reason for that is uh, I've been having a lot of issues. I, I got myself in a position with the, um, I had the, the road train set up. I had 170 trailers all hooked up and I was all good to go and I got caught in one little area. So I've had to basically undo it all and, um, and reset. So it's just taking me a bit of time to do that. So, um, and because it is so bogged down with the amount of uh, bales that are on the map, uh, and the amount of tra trailers I've got in one road train um, performance is a bit of an issue and it does get a bit uh, bit of a pain to use at times but anyway that's all good it's part of what we knew we were getting ourselves in for, into alright so I'll just park him in here let's grab the case magnum 
Right, so we'll grab him. We'll grab our plow. Well, actually, let's have a look. I don't know if I'm going to need to plow. Let's have a look at the state of the fields. So, our fields... 17, 1, 15, all look as though they... So they've been cultivated. Need to be ploughed. I thought I turned... I think I turned that off. Let's have a look. Plant withering... Oh, I didn't. Plant withering off. We'll put it on fast. Periodic ploughing off. Fertiliser states 1. Default. Put that to low. Time scale. That'll do. Save that. All right. Now let's have a look. Didn't need to get out there at all, did I? All righty. So, it doesn't need plowing anymore. They are cultivated. And uh, we're ready to plow. So, we'll go over and we'll start with field 16. Let's get 16 done. It's just cultivated, so we can probably just see straight away. So, let's just... Uh, where's our cedar? Did I get a cedar? Yes, here it is. Okay. Here's our horse. Then we've got to find where our seed points are, or our storage points, or our buy points, I should say, more of a point. Storage is over here, but I don't know if we've got any in storage. Oh, you do. Must do. Got a little supply in there, so uh, we'll get this underway. Some fertilizer. Okay, so we're heading off to 16, which is just to the south of the farm. So we head out here to the main road, and then we'll turn left and go and locate field 16. You see it's a very steep incline here. It's okay, it's always a challenge. The forest in there we could remove as well. And so 16 is just in there. No access road. No, okay, do I have to go and... Uh... Oh, there is, it comes up through the forest, okay. Let's unfold. All right, so what we're going to do first, let me see. Let's get some wheat so we can get some straw and all that sort of good stuff. And off we go. All right. So, yeah, so basically we've still got our 24-day season challenge on Sherwood Park Farm running. Um, we have our recent episode or recent series on beaver creek is uh, underway um they won't change they're both seasons so the shield park farm one is the 24 day seasons challenge where we're running um the 24 day seasons on this with the seasons mod um which is quite obvious um and yes yeah, so we're battling through that we're we're coming into winter we're, we're almost into winter um so that, that's been going for a while now. Beaver Creek, that's a, a new series that we've started up um, on Stevie's new map, Beaver Creek, or latest map, Beaver Creek. And uh, and we've just started that. I think we're four or five episodes into that as I record this. Um, so, and that's, that's again, it's a Seasons, uh, seasons Mod game. Now, I think we're running a 12-day season on that one. So it's not not as intense and, and long or drawn out as uh, the 24 day but uh, still it uh, gives you enough demands to, to keep you busy and, and keep you thinking um, so at the same time we started this so basically yesterday I recorded the first episode of the Great Western Farm by Chris Kimball Gaming um, and that is going to be it's, it's a non-seasons um, series even though as I said before both maps from Chris are seasons ready um, so it's not the fact that the map's not ready for it, it's just I'm doing these two series as a bit of a breakaway and a, a bit of a break and a bit more fun. So the Great Western series, we are playing that as a career mode. Um, we, we basically start off with the base equipment 
and we have loaded up with the money we made from that our preferred equipment running with the standard fields uh, I can't remember if we sold off all the animals I think we'd sold off all the animals except for the sheep I uh, can't remember in fact anyway we'll, have, we'll get back to that later um, and our goal on that one is to reach 20 million dollars that's that's the base of the goal of that whole gameplay series um, we're going to set some mini goals for instance as well so once we get to a million dollars cash we're going to buy I think I said I was going to spend 500,000 on cows and 250,000 on sheep um, so yeah we're going to have some mini goals set up in there to uh, to to guide our progress and all that sort of stuff but that's that's uh, the great western series that's just started up as well they won't be regular they'll maybe be once a week uh, thereabouts as a bit of a break for the other from the other uh, episodes and mod reviews and stuff we'll just see how we go um, I'm, I'm not uh, sticking to a huge time frame and huge output I'm certainly not gonna sit here and say oh there'll be an episode every day or except every other day except for, for Sunday I will I will try and put out videos as regularly as I can um, however unfortunately uh, being a father of three young children uh, having a career having uh, various volunteering uh, um, tasks which aren't, uh, aren't small by any means um, we don't have a lot of time uh, generally when I when I'm doing these it's late at night I'll start about 10 o'clock at night and finish about midnight 1 a.m. Um, so there are some times where we just don't have the energy to do it uh, or we're back late from meetings or, or whatever else um, so yeah so there's no strict guaranteed format of Monday will be this, Tuesday will be this. I have got a rough guide in my own calendar that I try and work to. Um, if that uh, is what happens, well so be it. So so this, this episode here for the, the Lost Valley and also the Great Western will be basically, uh, I guess, uh, a gap filler. It'll be used where I've got no content coming out for one of the other maps or whatever else where possible. Or it'll just be like on a Sunday or every now and again just to break up the, the schedule and the cycle a bit. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll see how we go. It should be a little bit more fun. Uh, hopefully it'll be uh, entertaining, uh, if not necessarily more so than the others, but um, at least enough to keep people interested. So um, with both of these series, or particularly with this one, this is the free-for-all. So if you've got a mod, if you've got, uh, you want to see something on the map, um, let me know. Drop me a, a comment in the comments below and uh, and we'll dig out the mod and we'll have a look at it and we'll um, we'll give it a go um, and in fact we'll probably probably even do some of the silly small stuff even if Farmer Pines does suggest it we'll just see how we go no promises but we'll certainly have a look at everything that comes across the uh, the comment section these episodes won't be very long either I'll tend to sort of fly through these I, I would like to probably get an average time scale of about 20 minutes uh, for these um, but again we'll just we'll just see how we go we'll see how we go all right so I've just finished there so what I'll quickly do now is I'll quickly do a quick timeout I've just got to let the dog out and then we'll be right back so just bear with me two seconds and we're back all right so what we're gonna do next is uh, let's um let's have a look Let's fly over to field 17's behind us. Let's do 17. Alright. 17 should be that one right down there. This one down here. So, yep, so we'll, we'll get stuck into him. What we might put on this one is... Let me see. Let's put some corn down. Alright. Bit of a bowl shape with the hill on this one. So unfold. Team one, and away we go. Obviously, with um, with only having the one fertilizer state and uh, no plant withering, fast growth, um, all that sort of stuff, and, uh, periodic plowing not required. Um, it's going to be very quick transitions or relatively quick transitions between uh, 
um, crop states so from freshly sown to harvest uh, all that sort of stuff will be relatively quick so certainly shouldn't have to be waiting around too long to get stuff done uh, and the grass will grow relatively quick as well so um, we should have plenty to do uh, I don't know how much we'll use in the way of course play or hired workers I certainly have course play enabled for this map uh, and obviously we have hired workers available to us but um, with most of the fields not being very generic although this one would be fine for course play for instance um, we'll just see how we go let's see how we go all right so it shouldn't take us too long to get this one done there's another set of sheds up there on the hill up the hill there's a church over there we have a wonderful view from the church looking down across the valley So I have to check on our um, sugarcane. We might have to get a sugarcane planter and uh, and see if we can do some sugarcane. The only thing with sugarcane, as I've said uh, in, in previous uh, videos, of various uh, series or whatever else, um, well, sugarcane is is a good addition. Um, it is laborious uh, to to harvest it, basically. Um, I do like the, the harvester and, and how to run it and all that sort of stuff, but um, it's not something you would like to be doing all the time. And I, when I was first saw it and heard of it, I thought this is going to be great with all the, the, the cane sugar harvest and stuff like that. Being in Australia, we have a huge cane cane, in, cane sugar industry up in uh, in Queensland. I think I think at one stage we were number one, or we may still be number one. I, I don't know in, in sugar cane production. Uh, in the world, but uh, we uh, we certainly drove a lot of the um, the sugarcane harvesting development um, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it's not, yeah, it's it's just not that fun with it being so small. Now I know as to, to the reality of it. I mean, you look at the actual real harvesters and all that sort of stuff. I've I've seen them. I've I've still on the side of the field watching them harvest it up north. Um, and yeah, the, the harvester is, is very realistic in its in its size and, and all that sort of stuff. It's just, for gameplay, it can just be too long and boring. Now, in saying that, I know there are mods out already where a standard harvester with a 35 foot, 41 foot header can uh, can churn through the, uh, the sugar cane and collect it and all that sort of stuff. Um, and some of the other cedars, like for instance, there's even a version of this that's been modded to, uh, to plant sugar cane. Um, it, it's sort of for the harvesting it's more problematic than the sowing I mean I, I, I don't have really have a problem with sowing it uh, from something like this um, yeah okay it's not ultra realistic but then again I don't do ultra realistic gameplay though anyway um, and and who knows I might I might well sort of do that anyway but uh, I mean I use this for, for planting potatoes and it's certainly not a potato planter um, but yeah, it's it's sort of not something that I would put on a big field at the moment. Um, I mean, it's certainly good for multiplayer. The interaction with multiplayer would be great. The fact that you've got a harvester that doesn't have so it basically acts as a as a forage harvester effectively, the sugarcane harvester. Um, you have no storage bin, so you have to have a tractor and trailer or, or a trailer attached in some way, shape, or form to to offload the output through the pipe. So for, for multi multiplayer gaming, uh, it's great because you need effectively two or three um, buddies to uh, to be driving tractors and, and tippers and collecting your output. And then while one goes to drop it off, instead of you sitting there doing nothing, um, the other guy comes in and starts uh, take, filling up his uh, his tipper and, and taking the load. So uh, for that for that sort of stuff, yeah, I could I can see it's uh, it'd be great fun, and I certainly would enjoy doing some sugarcane farming in a, in the multiplayer environment. Um, but for solo play, yeah, it's it's a bit more problematic, especially with the harvesting. I mean, look, you can do it. I've done it with uh, with course play. Um, it is it is possible. Um, so setting up a course play course for the harvester. And then uh, manually driving a tractor with a with a tipper uh, alongside. Um, 
and in fact the, the latest developer version of course play certainly does provide you with the with the tools like basically to to set the harvester to flip its output side on each run for instance so on, on an up up line up run it'll tip to the or output to the left and then on the down run it'll output to the right so you're not uh, outputting into the middle of the crop or expecting you, you tip it to run through the middle of the crop so all that sort of stuff is there it's just uh, yeah but anyway we'll see so we'll see how we go the longer the short of it is we'll see how we go with food paint no guarantees all right so still got a bit to go with the uh, with the sewing on here I did aim to be a 20 minute episode uh, we're getting very close to 20 minutes now, so it looks like I'm not going to have the first one being a 20 minute episode, um, but that's okay. I think what we'll do is we'll finish this field off and then uh, and then go from there. And then the next episode we'll um, start getting some of our grass on, for instance, and, uh, and see what we can do. We'll see what we've got in the in the tool shed to, uh, to play with some grass. So we might uh, alternate between um, the pottingers. I, I've got a set of... Uh, John Deere mowers, um, the John Deere windrower. Uh, might pull that out and have a look at that again. Um, of course, we've got the big M. The big M will definitely make an appearance or three. Um, we cannot run a map without the big M. Um, what else we got? We got the the abomination, as uh, Farmer Klein quite uh, handily coined the name for that. Um, I do like using the abomination actually, so that that'll definitely come out at some point. Uh, if you haven't seen the abomination, go check out uh, the Lord of the Grass, one of the Lord of the Grass episodes where I talk about the the tools of the trade of the Lord of the Grass, uh, and it covers that in there. Um, and yeah, so there's there's a whole pile of other grass stuff. So we're going to use the Vermeer rake. Um, we we'll use the the uh, windrowers from the Coon DLC. Uh, so yeah, we've, we've got a whole pile of stuff we could be using and we'll, we'll certainly give it all a work out because this map has a substantial amount of grass and certainly lends itself to, uh, to doing a lot of grass work. Alright, so we'll head back down this way again now. So this one, this one could be a bit of fun. Um, certainly, like I said, it's going to be a lot more light-hearted, not as serious, not as realistic. Um, doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to bring out a 100 meter wide header uh, for the combine. Um, oh, not me. <coughs> I think my combine uh, headers, are, my combine and header are good enough as it is, being the um, the New Holland Convert for the, for the Caterpillar, Caterpillar by Stevie. Um, with an operating speed of 20 kilometers an hour and a uh, storage capacity of 60,000 liters, it uh, it certainly does the job itself well, well and truly. Although in saying that, I might well switch out to one of the other mods of Stevie's, his uh, his combine mods. Uh, I might bring out one of the uh, the Case or Massey Ferguson or or Fent or something like that. So uh, just to just change it up a little bit. So we'll have to have a look and see. There's actually, an, I did notice there was a new Deutzfar um, Combine Harvester on the Mod Hub uh, released a day or two ago. So we might actually download that and have a look at that as well. Obviously it won't have the capacity of the uh, the Caterpillar one or the modern ones, but uh, we might pull him out and have a bit of a look. See. Before anyone says about the uh, the straw add-on from Aerosoft, at this stage that's a no-go. Um, while I, I see that it may produce some new and interesting gameplay, uh, in, in my opinion it's just too expensive. Um, I know a lot of other people think the same thing. Um, it equates to about $30, $35 with exchange rates and, and, and credit card fees and that here in Australia. Um, and I can buy Farming Simulator 17 uh, with the Platinum DLC at the moment cheaper than that. Um, so I'm, I'm a little bit loath to go and, and pay more for a DLC than I can buy the full game for. Um, it's, it's price point I think is just too high. 
but uh, that's what they've set it at. So that's what they uh, play at. When it comes down to price, maybe later, uh, I may look at it. But for now, I certainly don't need it. Um, I'm having more than enough fun using uh, components of the Big Bud and Coon DLC from from Giants, and also the Horse um, DLC that came out of Agritechnica. Uh, I've been using that a lot, and you'll see a lot of the stuff on this map, well, on any of the maps I'm using now, I use a lot of the uh, the horse stuff, particularly like the fertilizer sprayer um, and, and things like that. So um, the slurry spreader, all that sort of stuff. So uh, so yeah, I'm uh, more than happy just to continue using those for the moment. Plus all the other wonderful mods that the modding community provide for us to use. Um, so there's there's really no need to worry about the, the straw add-on for myself at the moment. Right, so we've pretty much finished here, so we might as well start uh, signing off. Um, we'll be back here on Lost Valley Farm sometime in the future. I can't obviously give you a date and time as to whether it'll be next week, next month, whatever else, but we'll certainly try and get them out semi-regularly. Um, just as uh, they'll be out as much as I need a break. So whenever I need a bit of a break from doing my 24-day seasons or mod reviews or whatever else, I'll jump quickly onto this one spam out an episode or two and uh, and have a bit of fun so um that's what we'll do so if you've liked the episode please feel free to press that like button uh, it does nothing other than give me a bit of a warm and fuzzy to say that people are interested in the episodes uh, and the series so uh so please do so uh, if you are interested and you want me to continue if you don't want me to continue then uh that's fine too but too bad i'm gonna do it anyway um and the other one is for uh, if you're not already a subscriber and you wish to subscribe, please press the subscribe button, which will be coming up shortly on the screen, top left hand side, and uh, and help and join us with the fun and frivolity, plus on all the other um, maps we have or play series we have. Sorry. Um, so as we head back in here to the farm, we'll uh, bid you adieu for the uh, for the this episode. And we look forward to seeing you back here on Lost Valley Farm by Chris Kimball Gaming sometime in the in near future. Until then, take care of yourself and all your loved ones, and we shall speak to you then. See you later. Bye.